Hey, how's it going, Duty Sulfurs? Today I'm going to do a review of two impact wrenches that I've gotten from Harbor Freight. So on this corner, we got this uh, half-inch air impact wrench made by Central Pneumatic that you can buy at Harbor Freight for about 70 bucks, I believe, versus this half-inch battery-powered impact wrench made by Chicago Electric that you can also buy at Harbor Freight for about $125. As far as how much they weigh, this air impact wrench weighs about 5 pounds, 15 ounces, or in other words, pretty much about 6 pounds. And this electric one weighs about 5 pounds and 10 ounces, or in other words, just about half a pound less than the air gun. Now as far as how these feel when working with them, well, this one I've had for about 4 years, and I'm sure you guys have seen me use it on a bunch of cars. They feel, this feels really good. It's easy to work with. Uh, the only thing is though, it's a little top end heavy, I mean that's somewhat normal for air impact impact wrenches but I feel like a lot of the weight is up front sometimes when I point this at something I want to get to it kind of pulls in pulls down a lot more than it should I feel like if it was more evenly distributed the weight up top uh, it would be easier to balance and maneuver this but overall I like it it's uh, it feels pretty good and it's a very really good solid air impact wrench now, as far as this one goes well I just got this so I haven't had a lot of time to play with this and use it on different cars but uh, as of right now this feels pretty good too I mean it's, it's I would say this is more evenly balanced to be honest and that half pound less weight that it has from the air impact wrench uh, it, it is somewhat noticeable something you want to consider though is that this electric one this front housing is metal but the rest of it is plastic so if you drop this a bunch of times uh, there's a good chance that you can crack the housing or break this whereas this one this is just very solid I've dropped this from different heights <laughs> on concrete a bunch of times and it's still in one piece but if you end up really liking this one you can always buy an extended warranty at Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks we should take care of that concern now, as far as direction and speed settings goes uh, on this air inch you got three forward speeds and one reverse speed. And you obviously get maximum torque on these two settings. Now here's an important tip for those of you that are not very experienced with air guns. It's very important to get these oiled and keep them lubed up because if you don't do that, not only they'll break down quicker, but also they'll, uh, their maximum torque will decrease as well. Now as far as this electric one goes, here's your forward and reverse switch right here. When this is all the way out, this goes reverse. When you press this all the way down, we go forward. As far as speed is concerned though, this is a variable, variable speed trigger right here. And uh, basically means that you control the speed uh, by how much you're pressing down on this trigger. You can start off very slow. And the more you press on this trigger, the faster it will go. This is a very neat option to have if you ask my opinion. But also on this one, you get this little light here that you can activate by just barely pressing this trigger down. That's not the brightest light in the world, but <laughs> it will come in handy, I'm sure. All right, let's get to the point and see exactly how powerful these air guns are. And we're gonna start with this one. Now this one is rated at 700 foot-pounds maximum torque. And this is a really powerful one. In fact, I've encountered very few bolts that this wasn't able to remove. But so that you guys can see for yourself, I'm going to start off by torquing this lug nut down to about 100 foot-pounds. Next we'll see how easily this can take it off. There you go. And then again, once again, we torque it down to 100 foot-pounds. Alright, next we're going to try the electric one. And this one is rated at 300 foot-pounds maximum torque. And it's always a given that the electric one is going to have less power than the air wrench. But we're just trying to find out exactly how much less. All right, there we go. All right, that was pretty easy. That was 100 foot-pounds. All right, let's make this more challenging. Let's bump it up to 150 foot-pounds. All right, so here's our air impact wrench. Not a problem. And once again, we'll torque it down to 150 for the electric one. And here's our electric impact wrench. All right, not too bad. Not as easy as the air impact wrench, but still pretty good. All right, let's get serious. Let's bump this up to 200 foot pounds. All right, once again, first up, our air wrench. Not a problem. And here's the moment of truth. If we can remove this lug nut with this electric impact wrench, I'm gonna say, this thing is worth every penny. We'll see. All 
All right, took about 20 seconds, but we got it. And there you have it, folks. Very impressed with how much power this thing has. And in its price range, which is $125, or actually, if you use a 20% off coupon that Harbor Freight has all over the internet, you can get this for about 100 bucks. And for 100 bucks, this is, I would say, the best bank for your money that you can buy as far as an electric impact wrench goes. If I were to grade this, I would grade this an A minus, and it's only an A minus because of the housing up here. Uh, I think the manufacturer could have used more sturdy, more heavy duty material to protect this with not much cost going to the customer. But besides that, this is an excellent electric impact wrench. Another thing is our experiment wasn't exactly a scientific experiment. So a lot of times, if you have a axle nut, for example, that you torque down to 150 foot pounds, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean when you go to take it off, it's still torqued down to 150 foot pounds because of corrosion and rust sets in. And that thing is on there now a lot, uh, under a lot more, you're gonna require a lot more torque to take that off. So don't think this will take off everything, but overall for an electric impact wrench, I would say uh, this should be able to take off a lot of axle nuts and crankshaft bolts as well. Now on the other hand, if you have this one, you don't have to worry much about being able to take off nuts and bolts. Doesn't matter if there's corrosion or rust. Very few uh, bolts are going to come across that this is not going to be able to take them off. But again, there's that trade-off, the air compressor. You're going to have to buy an air compressor. If that's not an option for you, then the electric one is a good option. But if you do have an air compressor, I recommend this. Uh, this will take off a lot of nuts and bolts that otherwise you are going to have a hard time removing. If I had to grade this one, I would give this an A. And it's an A because it's so cheap. You know, for 60 bucks, I think, plus you can uh, use that 20% off coupon. So for about 50 bucks or 50 and change, you're going to have a very good air impact wrench. Very powerful, very uh, heavy duty that you're not going to have a hard time or feel like a need to use any other air impact wrenches to take off nuts and bolts. All right, and that's all there is to it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, but also consider checking out some of my other related videos. I'll put it up on the screen as video links on this side, so you can click on them. There'll also be links in the description box. And if you want to have a say in what videos I make every month, check out my support page. There'll be a link below that, below this video and in the description box as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.